meeting to order at 7 o'clock. Roll call. Ed Parkes. Jerry Shoup. Sean Harley. Randy Sneed. Eric Burton. Mason Mullaney. Derek Jones is not here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Minutes from 10 18 2023. Motion to approve the minutes from 10 18 23. We have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from 10 18 2023. Any further comments? If not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Abstain. Citizens input. We have two citizens. Go ahead, Frank. Uh, I was given a draft of these minutes that you're looking at there. And it says that. I asked if Chief Rudd was able to talk with the owner of the pickup on the corner of West Marshall Street to see if he would move it. Chief Rudd stated he did not. The council will have someone who knows him to speak with him. Well, I think I heard Ed right. comment several meetings ago that, that I knew the owner of the vehicle lives in the same building where I do Bill Bean. So after the last meeting, I went and talked to him about it. And he was not feeling well that day. He said he would go ahead and move it. Now at 4 o'clock today, I went over there. He said that he went up there and the vehicle did not start. But I offered to jump start the vehicle. And he's going to take me up on it. So that's... That's the status of that situation. Thank you. Thank you. We'll swear you into the police department. <laughs> <laughs> anything else, Frank? No. Okay. Ed or Bob, you have anything? No? Should I? No. No. <laughs> we just expect it from the bomb. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Old business. Open bids for water project. All right, um, we're opening uh, bids for uh, the water improvement project contract one, which was rebid um, due to uh, <coughs> lack of um, a lot of the contractors didn't submit um, on the required documentation. There are uh, three bids that were received um, yesterday. yesterday. Um, Lisa received them and spent them with the time that they were received. So they're all submitted within time frame and can be considered. Just just for the record, could he say who he is and who he oh, who no. he's from? No. Okay. Sorry. No. Uh, <laughs> my name's Charles Thompson. I'm um, with Adam Marsh Consultants. Um, I'm an engineer for um, this project. Fair enough, thanks. The first bid is from Viking Painting LLC.
Their bid is in the amount of uh, 345,600 dollars. That's three four five six zero zero point zero zero three hundred and forty five thousand six hundred dollars even. And that is again from Viking 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 Painting LLC. Where are they from? They are out of La Vista, Nebraska, is where their mailing address was. Yes. Nebraska. Yep. Nebraska. <laughs> The second bid is from Worldwide Industries Corp. See, or Worldwide? Worldwide Industries Corp out of uh, Pennsylvania. Second, to table the bids. Do we have a chance to read them? Is that what you said? To review them. To review. Any further comments on that? If not all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? The bids will be tabled. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Attorney report. Derek is not here, so we don't have any attorney report. Lisa's playing Derek tonight. Lisa's yeah. playing Derek. Are you Derek in? will not be here tonight. <laughs> 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 
Uh, new business. Jimmy, you got anything? Mm -hmm. Mark? No. <laughs> I have something. Okay. Um, I want to have the council take it under advisement. The Where I'm getting at with the uh, fees for dispatching is that is a voluntary situation. So we don't have to pay for that. Here, let me say one thing here. Well, let me ask a question first. When you go there, are you going, representing yourself as a member of the town council and going on our behalf, or are you just going up there? I'm going up there. Okay. Um, so we have bid, I don't know how, many, how long it's been, but we've bid out on this quite a while, and Basically, the deal they give us is probably the best one we'll ever get. Now, the way I understand, and I'm only going by what I've been told by people, if we create enough grief for those people, they can um, shut us down. Um, there is no way in the world that we could <coughs> provide dispatching our own for even for almost twice of what we pay them. I don't think you can do it for life. You couldn't do it for ten times what you pay. Well, see, well, okay, so, I mean, these guys... <coughs> console alone cost you three, four times. I mean, the console that the person needs that operates it, they say... Well, that, oh, I'm well aware. I, it yeah, could be close to probably three-quarters of a million dollars. Yeah, well, we just, we're, we're, we're going to have to drop it. If we could, even. Leave it alone can. because uh, it's not going to do us any good to uh, upset the commission up there and have them... Uh, <coughs> And say goodbye. So, well, they can't. They can't. By law, they can't. They can't. Okay. They, they can't not dispatch for nine one one. By law, they're required only to dispatch any nine one one call received. Anything after that initial nine one one phone call, you're on your own. We're incorporated. We're, that's our responsibility. The nine one one, yes, that is their that's, responsibility. That's a, that's a, but daily handling our radio traffic, they are not required to provide right. so that service. What they're what they're getting at is any any call that comes in that's not nine one one would really require us to have somebody on the station that can just answer our phone. And that, I mean, that's what not dispatch just answer our phone because you could dispatch via since it would be coming in house. You can do that with your two way. But um, yes and no. I'm saying the responders. You got fire, EMS. Yeah. Well, they come up with locate. They help with locations and everything. So. Uh, oh, yeah. This is more than. I, I get what you're getting at. And I understand totally what yeah, you're no. saying. But th you've got to remember, this is so from an ambulance call. When I get that ambulance call, I get that time. We're en route. We're on the scene. We're en route to the hospital. They keep track of all of that. We get a printout when I come back and we start a run sheet. It's got all that information on it. We can't have somebody sit on station and take all of that information. Uh, now, granted, ninety per ninety-five percent of all those calls that are received by our EMS are nine one one. Now, your your police are a little different. Obviously, they get uh, a lot of non-emergency calls, but it's the same thing. Even after that non-emergency call comes in, I'm dispatched to to Gary Shue on Grove Street. So I go down there, tell the county I'm on the scene. I hear your complaint. I tell them I'm back in service. They do all of our case reports. All that stuff is funneled through the county now. Back in the day, we used to have to come back here and get a case number, do our case reports. All that's through the county. I mean, for the amount the other, we pay, not to get them off. The other thing of that, Mark, is the fact that once that 911 call goes out to the fire, EMS, or police, they could say, okay, we dispatch a 911 call. They fulfilled their They're obligation here yeah. for 911, yes. Mm -hmm. Hang on a second, just a second, Bob. Go ahead, Gene. They need a lot of electric, water, sewer, and after-hour emergency calls, too. As a business owner, <laughs> I absolutely 100%, and a taxpayer for that matter, respect any attempt to save money, um, whether it be on the government side or the small business side. Uh, but there's times I had a business owner, a local here in town, actually, tell me one time, sometimes it's better to contract out whether that be for the business or something as simple as contract out your dinner because McDonald's has $3 
fry and hamburger meal and you know with grocery store prices you can't pay that right now I did the math twelve thousand five hundred dollars a year is what the town of Argus be it the gov being at the general fund or the fire territory pays per hour 24 in a day seven in a week 365 in a year the town of Argus pays a dollar 42 an hour for all dispatch services there is no way in hell that we can do that 725 an hour is the minimum wage a dollar 42 an hour now that's every hour of every day of every year dollar 42 an hour is what the uh, town of Argus pays but I feel that that's pretty reasonable I, and I understand I think it's your a steal. complaint and, and I understand what you've been trying to do but I think it's just something we need to drop and forget because uh, there's no way as Bob uh, put it that we could we, we could do anything about this I mean we're th this is it, it's it's a necessity that we we just can't live without and I really don't think it's fair to to try to come up with another tax that would alleviate our portion and put that on to everybody else in the county because the county residents are already paying for their their police and fire for not one right no no they're paying they're for the sheriff's department they pay that budget yeah so I mean county taxes that are collected we pay a county tax too but a county resident pay, pays county taxes that funds that department right which funds the communications so, I mean they're paying a tax for it already I don't think it's fair for us to expect them to take on our, our whole expense when we're already collecting taxes just my opinion. You sit on that board? No, I do not. Who is our representative for Georgia? No. Georgia is? All right. Hey. Um, yes. Go ahead, Paul. I will say this, Gary. What you're understanding, probably, in very simplest terms, is that 911 does the dispatch. Okay? Mm -hmm. I get out here on an accident scene, our fire call and I need further assistance. Exit scene, I need tow trucks. I don't arrange the tow trucks, the county does. Or the owner of the vehicles involved tows who they want contact, and the county takes care of that contact. If I need further assistance from a neighboring department because the structure fire requires more water than we pack in those trucks, happens every structure fire almost. I tell them I need Culver, I need Tippy, whoever, they make that call. We don't, we don't have the time on the scene to do what Marshall County 911 is doing. I know, I can understand why are we paying this extra fee. If past meetings, we've talked about it, there's been talk about up there, the upgrading of the 911 system alone is immense. And we just went through an upgrade, probably, my compute, they just correct me if I'm wrong, but the last two years we went through an upgrade up there. They just got yes. the new consoles, new consoles and everything installed, actually. Okay. We're talking millions, and we're paying pennies. So I would encourage you to dig further of what we're actually paying for, because the responders in this community Utility, I wouldn't even realize they were dispatching these guys, but I know I've called the county and said, I need Argus Utilities. I don't call him. Right. I've got his phone number, but that's, we don't have the time to deal with that. Let alone call, no offense, call a helicopter. Who do you want? I want the first available. Your life's on the line. We have free chopper services we use in this county. They make that call. <clears throat> so there's a lot of stuff going on in the background that the general public has no knowledge of what that those people are actually doing for us right. not to mention several years ago the bill was the initial bill was in the I almost 30,000 Bob and that was I, I, I thought it was more and and the, every community actually had that I think Lisa, Bourbon's was more Lisa and, and I went up and battled that battle what four years ago Lisa and you know to be fair you know when Gary first came on we had a, a massive discussion about this and you know it is hard to swallow when you didn't have sheriffs previous that were implementing this you know so Ar Argus sat for many years under the uh, yes. care of central dispatch 
before so, it was central dispatch and didn't pay anything. It's not something that, you know, has been for years or decades or anything like that. And the first thing that they came up with was a per call fee, mm -hmm. that was, which yeah. was awful. <clears throat> because then you have cops that are like, I, for $7 a call, I'm not going to call in. Yeah. You know, so. Well, to, to, to put this to bed then, but what I'd like for everybody to understand and know is the system that we use here in Marshall County is not a system almost no other county uses. Nobody else does this. Quite a word. Not be, the according to the gentleman I spoke down down state that also doing the upgrades to our system here, I spoke with him personally twice. He said there are a few municipalities that do this type of system, but it's because of special circumstances that they do that they do it. Other than that, we are kind of the only one out here. Um, that's what he had told me. He said not that he agrees with it. He said there's also some legal things to it too that we are operating in the gray with this. But you know nobody has the money to litigate that. So um, with that being said, he's like, yeah, you're kind of out there. So he encouraged me to talk to the commissioners um, and see where I could get with that. Um, but he said that there are there is a better way of doing it. Now he didn't tell me what that was. He just said everybody else is doing it the other way because it is a better way. I think there's a lot of communities that do what we're doing. So well, I'm okay with that. That's what I was told. Let so, me ask. Let me ask this. So twelve five a year, four thousand comes out of the fire territory, eighty five hundred comes out of the general fund. Are we going to give that twelve five back in a check to the taxpayers for saving them the money if we uh, create a new tax? No. That'd be up to the council to decide if that was the case. But that was a fee that we didn't pay previous. I mean, it, and, yeah. And, so. and that's that's the part that hard that's hard to swallow. For years, Argus was tended to by Marshall County and didn't. But all of us. Well, yeah. All but, communities in Marshall County. I think Plymouth was the last one. Except who has mm -hmm. always had their own dispatch. And Plymouth, I think, was the last one to shut down yeah. their own dispatch center. Right. But yeah. Greenman is the only one in the county that still operates their own dispatch. Yeah, Not a bunch of there. One one it's, anywhere, it's probably close to half a million dollars a year for them to do that. Yeah. Yeah. They've got the factory tax base to be able to afford it. Yeah, we don't. I'd just like to add one more comment to the discussion from the police aspect of it. We kind of are hooked to that system, just to be real honest with you, because everybody remembers we approved the police department to go with a new computer program that sits in their cars that ties directly into that system up there yeah. so we are pretty much latched to that now with that being said you know it's not here or nor there but we are attached to that system so just uh, throw that out there lisa have you received a bill for next year yet for services not yet, no. not yet? okay that cotton when the, it should be less because they've got a surplus. Oh. Yeah. And that is something that when we went to the 911 meetings, we discussed. If you start having surpluses of money, you should be paying, you know, mm -hmm. reducing that to the rest of the community. So let's let's hope that happens. Right. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of consternation on that when we had that conversation. Yes. I do remember that. Anything else on that? Anything else on that? No? no. Okay. Any other new business? Oh, I have one thing. Uh, Ed, um, I need to know if you would like to still sit on the unsafe board. I got that the other day. Um, if you're still willing to do it, then I think uh, the council just needs to approve you to be their liaison yeah, to I'm, the unsafe board. I'd be glad to, unless somebody else wants to do it. But no. Has it been going okay? Mm -hmm. I moved to appoint Ed Marcus to the unsafe building board. Or board. That's that, that board. I'll second it. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. <laughs> we have a motion and a second to, to uh, appoint Ed Marcus to the unsafe building board. Any further comments? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 
Monthly report. All right, marching on. We're doing great. Claims. Lisa. Okay. Um, so the claims are from October 17th to October the 31st, and they amount to um, $188,836.20. Eight. The top five claims are payroll number 22 is 55937 And then Oliver Ford is 45431 and 15 cents. Uh, Dixon Engineering was 12000 and uh, INPRS or PER was $8,624.78. And I believe the last one is Baker Tilly for $6,404.45. I have a question. Go ahead. I have a question too. I said there was a, a, well, there was a claim for $32,000. Yeah, yes, yeah. for Phil okay. So what happened there is um, Phil Llewellyn is on um, ACH. Well, his attorney set him up for ACH payments, which that means that it pulls on the 13th directly out of their account. Um, we had some problems with the new meters and uh, one of the bills got, we had to hand type in the bills last month, remember all the readings, 50 some odd pages. And so uh, we tried to catch all the bills to see if they were high, we missed that one, it did come out at, yeah. So dollars we missed? <laughs> well, okay, wow. so we missed it, but then so didn't his attorney. You know, because we send the bills out on the 1st. It didn't come out till the 13th. So we had to refund. That is the refund after his bill came out. So. Bank didn't catch it either. It just seemed like a lot of money. It yeah. is a lot of money. <laughs> All the rest of them were returned. The other one. And I had to actually refund it twice because he gave me the wrong banking information. So, you know. <laughs> I don't know the 33000 my account. <laughs> I guess it depends on what account it came out of. But so, there's been no problem. Easy peasy. Yeah. Okay. So, because it was well, a claim, that's right. why. I make a motion to approve the claims from 10 17 23 to 10 31 23 in the amount of $188,836.20. I'll second that. So, we do have a motion and a second to approve the claim from 10 17 2023 to 10 31 2023 for 188 $836.20. Any further comments? Not all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. <laughs> all in favor, say aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. <laughs>